All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna be doing an unboxing of this month's Japan Crate. I believe this is for April? I think it, no, yeah, it say? April. It says April? No, it didn't say. But the last one was March, right? Yeah. So it, it would make sense. So yeah, we got the April box here. Big shout out to Japan Crate for sending this in after I paid full price and shipping for it. Uh, I'm just kidding. Now, really good product. Even though they're not a sponsor, I just really enjoy their stuff. So, shout out to them. Make sure to go check them out. And uh, we got my brother Phoenix here. Hello. What's up, Phoenix? Why are you so quiet? Um. What's up? How's life? Good. <laughs> okay. Um, we just did a Easter egg hunt this morning. Um, we had like a lot of eggs around the house, and they had like. You know, like candy, chocolates. Some had money in them. There were these gold eggs with money. That was fun, right? Yeah, very fun. Very fun. So now we're gonna be opening up this Japan crate, see what's inside. Hopefully, you know, enjoy some fun snacks with you guys. So uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay. So first of all, the box itself looks pretty awesome. Yes, very. Um, there's some like cherry blossoms on there, which I think represents the uh, blooming season in Japan. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it is. We got a mountain in the background, which I think it's Mount Fuji, maybe, or some other famous mm, mountain, Fuji. probably Fuji. And oh, yeah, crap. Uh, <laughs> let's open it up, okay. So I'm gonna grab my little Swiss Army knife here and cut the tape real quick. You better censor the address. Oh, no, I don't think anybody saw that. We're good, we're good. Uh, here we go. Okay, box is open. Let me do a little uncracking for you guys. Oh, it's pink inside. Okay, it's pink. There's all the stuff. Oh, that was the booklet, I think. So that's the box. Oh, yo, yo, Phoenix, quickly look at the camera for the thumbnail. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, it says April 2021. There's the booklet, April 2021. Har Hirosaki Cherry Blossom Festival which is April 23rd to May 6th. While many cherry blossoms bloom in March slash start of April, the 2,600 trees around Hirosaki Park start blooming at the end of April for this festival. It draws a heavy crowd, and especially after the sun sets, as the trees and castle are both illuminated. Along with the breathtaking view of the sakura, food, and drink vendors are also in attendance for attendees. Awesome. Okay, so that's why we have the cherry blossoms, of course. And uh, we're gonna keep this handy for all the snacks that we see, but... Let's take turns. Picking. Yeah, we'll take... Oh, my bad. <laughs> Did I smoke in the eye? No. Are you good? Yeah. Okay, okay. So yeah, let's take turns. We, we usually like go back and forth picking the snacks. Uh, we've actually been getting this for like a year now and just decided to, you know, start making videos because like, why not? Should be fun for you guys too. Yes. So, Phoenix, why do you go uh, get the first pick? Mm -hmm. Why do you choose the first snack we're gonna have today? Mm. Big I'll bag? I'll choose this, um... Mike popcorn or something? Mike? Oh, Mike. Yeah, it's called Mike. Mike popcorn. Mike popcorn. And it's plum flavor. What is it? Uh, loved, loved in Japan since it was established in 1968. Mike popcorn is a party flavor. It's also known for its seasonal and unique flavors. This addition uses 100% Japan grown plums to give a refreshing sour twist. Perfect for spring. Refreshing sour taste. Okay. Uh -oh. So let's open it up. Oh, you like sour stuff, I'm pretty sure. I like, uh, I like savory the best. It smells pretty good. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like savory and, and sweet. Or, uh, savory and mm, sour at the same good. time. Okay, try it. Sus. That's pretty sour. Yeah. No, it's pretty sour. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was gonna be like really mild. But no, it's pretty sour, man. Do you like it? What do you think? I wish I never chose it. Right off the bat, I don't like it. You don't like it? At all? It's not that I don't like it at all, but I don't. Okay, take, uh, take one more. Take one I don't more, hate maybe. it, but I don't like it. Maybe it'll change your mind if you have like a second one. This is my third one. What do you think? Same. It's okay. Actually, it's okay. Not not the best start. I think I'll still finish it for sure. Same. But um, it, yeah, not not the best start we've had to these boxes. <laughs> okay, we'll put that to the side. Okay. Have it later. Uh, it's my turn, I guess, right? Yes. 
So why don't I go with, oh, we got Kit Kats, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna go with, um, I'm gonna go with this, man. It looks like a fruit roll up. Okay, it's a little red packet here, and I don't know if it's gonna focus. Hopefully it does. Roll okay. candy strawberry. Like a fruit roll up, this is a yummy strawberry flavored candy roll that uh, up that is fun to unroll while you eat. Okay, so basically it's a fruit roll up. It's a Japanese fruit roll up. Yeah. Okay. So let me open that up. Oh, there you go. Yeah, even the same like paper and everything. Oh, I don't like to focus on us, Phoenix. Move around. Make the camera focus. Come on. Attention. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. Yeah, so it looks literally. <clears throat> <laughs> I just choke on the popcorn. <laughs> uh, it looks like a fruit roll up. We only it's... have one chance. Don't mess it up. It's okay. It's all good. We'll just uh, we'll edit it if it if it gets mess messed up. Okay, so I'ma unroll this real quick. Uh, I used to push to roll the fruit roll up. This this yeah that's this this is what it is. Have yeah. you had a fruit roll up? Yeah. It's probably gonna be the same thing. Okay, I'll give you a little bit. Oh, uh, here you go. I don't remember being it called a fruit roll up. What? I'm hurt. One of the ones that I ate had a special name, but I forgot what it was. The fruit, ones you I, ate weren't called fruit roll up? I think it's called like fruit by the foot. Fruit by the foot. Oh! Isn't that the same thing? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same thing. It is, but it just uh, has a different name. Is it the same company? I'm pretty sure. I don't know, whatever. To me, it's the same thing. And this pretty much tastes like a fruit roll-up. Although, the fruit is a little fruitier. Yeah. Like, it tastes more like real fruit than a fruit roll-up. What do you think, Phoenix? Yeah. It's good, right? It got stuck in my teeth. Yeah, no, it's stuck in my teeth, too. It's gonna be annoying. <laughs> okay, that's number two. Definitely gonna finish that one. Um, solid, okay. Okay. What's next, what's next? Of course, I think I'm going to choose this. Big bag. Yes. Of course, it's with Norian salt fried potato. Okay, okay. Koikea fried potato. Koikea fried potato. Okay, so uh, this one says, Koikea presents these potato chips with the utmost pride. Inspired by our early days, we have applied the new pride potato manufacturing method, fancy, to craft a new j <laughs> Japanese delicacy. Please enjoy our crisp, truly delectable chips made from flavorsome Japanese potatoes. All right, uh, sounds good, sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. You have the honors, grab the first chip. Here you go. Because I'm the guest, of course. You're the guest of honor, yes. You're the guest of honor, Phoenix. Okay, there's the chip. It's uh, mm. like, a, like a, it looks a lot like a Miss Vicky's. If you guys have had those. Give me it. Oh, it's good. It's that it's covered in like these little uh, green sprinkle thing. I, I think it's like seaweed or something. What, what does it say? What's the flavor? Yeah, I think it's seaweed. Um, it nor oh, nori, yeah, nori and salt pride. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. You can't keep, you can't take it. Okay, fine. <laughs> you want to take all, all for yourself? Yeah, that's You can have most of it, don't worry. But no, that's, that's. That's good stuff. That's delightful. That's good stuff. That is delightful. My hand is so oily. Got all oil all over your hands. Wow. That's so good. Okay, yeah. we gotta stop. We gotta stop. Um, let's try a drink. Ooh, this looks interesting. I hope I could drink it. You, I, I don't think this one's a uh, sparkling. I don't think this one's an energy drink, so this should be Sparkling okay. Sparkling with no ooh. This carbonated drink used Nanko plums producing YKAMA. Uh, free friction and provide the refreshing. Are you struggling, Phoenix? Yeah. <laughs> let me read it, let me read it. Uh, you open it, you open it. Um, sparkling Kishi no Ume, this carbonated drink uses Nanko plums produced in Wakayama Prefecture and provides a refreshing sour and sweet flavor in each sip. Okay, sour and sweet sounds good to me. Try it. Mmm. 
Mm-hmm. I really like it. You like it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Not too sweet either. Yeah. I like, I like that about it. Yeah, it's, it's a soda, obviously. Um, but yeah, not too sweet, a little bit sour. Really good. Okay. Put that there. Um, is it my turn or your turn? It's mm -hmm. your turn. Yeah. Okay, what's next? What you feeling? This. This one. Uh, it's got like a little, what, 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 what animal would you say that is? Mm, a bird, of course. Wait. No, it's a bird. Yeah, what, what kind of bird though? <laughs> uh, maybe like a tropical bird. <laughs> okay, tropical bird. Wait, it's even on the... There you go. Okay. It's even on the cover. Oh yeah, no, it is on the cover. Yeah, it's on the, it's on the booklet. Okay, open that up, Phoenix. I'm gonna read the description here. Uh, Choco Ball. Choco Ball Refresh Coke. Only available for a limited time from March to the end of June. This edition of Choco Ball Candy is made by coating chocolate with uh, crackling candy with cola flavored chocolate. When in your mouth, the crackling pops and you can feel the refreshing feeling of cola. Oh, so it's kind of like a combination of chocolate and pop rocks, maybe? That sounds interesting. Mm. That sounds interesting. All right, so there you go. It's a little ball, no caramel or a yellow ball. It's chocolate. But I have this Coca-Cola flavor. And it's popping. Mm. Yeah, it's got, it, it's like chocolate coating inside. I'm pretty sure it's Coca-Cola. Coca, Coca, oh. Coca what? That exploded. <laughs> it exploded. <laughs> it's, it's a Coca-Cola. Uh, why can't I say it? Why is that so hard? Coca Cola, <laughs> Coca Cola, Coca Cola flavored Pop Rocks. Yeah, that's what that is. That's it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird combination, but it just it works. It, it really works. That's a hit. That's a hit. Okay, I like that a lot. Next up, um, let's try the Kit Kats. You know what? Let's not, let's not delay it too long. We got Kit Kats here. We gotta try it. I mean. It's, it's always a good time when we try different flavored Kit Kats. So this one seems to be ume. It sort of looks like a mango or something. It's plum. It's plum. Oh. Yeah. New edition of Kit Kats is here. 13 mini pieces edition of ume plum flavor. White chocolate is infused with Japanese plum juice powder, uh, which gives each bar a unique fruity and refreshing flavor that's balanced by the sweet white chocolate. That sounds amazing. I mean, I don't need convincing to eat Kit Kat, so <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, it's green. Mm. It's a green Kit Kat bar. All right. Ah, ping. Hmm. Hmm. Really good. Ooh. Okay, okay, the weird thing about this, yeah, first of all, it's really good. Agreed? Agreed. Very good, but the weird thing is, it doesn't taste like plum to me. Yeah. It almost tastes like cantaloupe. Am I right? Yeah. You think it's cantaloupe, right? Yeah, wait, wait. but sweeter. I mean, cantaloupe is sweet, but it tastes like cantaloupe to me, I don't know. It, it looks like cantaloupe because it's green, and it tastes like cantaloupe, but apparently it's, it's, it's plum. Which is weird, but I'm, I'm not complaining. Look, it's delicious. That's a good one. So uh, yeah, we'll save some for for Taya for Android 18. We'll save some for our parents. Um, but that is gonna be finished for sure. And We're up next, Phoenix. We got we got a few more things. Not too many, but I'll choose the fake pills. The fake pills. All right, all right. It looks like medicine. It looks like you know something you get from like a like a package of. Advil or something. Mm. So, uh, what is it? Uh, poo, poo chocolate strawberry milk. Poo, poo, what's that say? Poo tea? Poo tit? Bone <laughs> apple poo, tea. Poo tea, chocolate, strawberry milk. Fun to eat and fun to play with. These strawberry milk chocolate spirits pop out when you're in a, where, oh, when you're in for a fun and small choco treat. All right. Sounds good. Do you want the red ones or the pink ones? 
What's the difference? Let's try one of each. Okay, so there's the pink. There's the red. You can grab both of those. I'll grab one of each too. I mean, for all we know, it could be the same flavor. Yeah. Just a different color. Okay. Let's go. I'm doing the first pink. Pink first? Okay. That's strawberry chocolate. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Red. It's the same. That's strawberry chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> same thing. It's good though. It's good. Yeah. Okay. My turn. I've been looking forward to this one. Matcha chocolate lubera. I don't know what that means. But yeah, it's, it's a little uh, matcha chocolate. chocolate roll thing. I mean, you can't really go wrong with that either. You can't go wrong with matcha chocolate. We can't chocolate. get enough of this confection. Each cookie is rolled with a matcha chocolate filling that we think pairs perfectly with a hot cup of tea or coca. Each cookie is rolled with a chocolate matcha filling. All right, all right, that's, that sounds like a good time. All right, here we go. Uh, oh, they're individually packaged, so we got one for you, you can one tell for something's me. good uh, when it's individually packaged. Uh, here we go. This is what it looks like. I already ate mine. Oh. Oh, okay, so it's like crunchy, it's like a cookie on the outside. Chocolate, matcha chocolate in the middle. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like all chocolate in there. Mmm. Holy. Uh-oh. Oh, that's good. It's okay, we made a mess. We'll clean it up later. Mmm. Ah, so good, Phoenix. Yeah, I know. That's delicious. No, you're right, man. It, you, usually it's good if it's individually packaged like that. Yeah. Usually when stuff is individually packaged, it's really good. It's like a sign of quality for some reason. Yeah. All right. Um, like your turn. Next up. Fish. Fish. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, we, we get these all the time. They are, I forgot what they're called actually. What's the? Puku, Puku, Puku Thai Melon Soda. Puku, Puku, okay. Experience Thai. Experience Thai, oh, Taiyaki, Taiyaki. Yeah. Or Japanese fish shaped dessert in this wafer snack. It's made of crunchy two-toned wafers and an airy melon soda chocolate filling. So a lot of chocolate stuff, kind of really fitting with, with the, the Easter theme too. Um, yeah, let's, let's open this up. These are always good. These are always really tasty. Yeah, we should save some though. I'll we'll save some, we'll save some. Uh oh. Oh, it's getting everywhere. Yo, it's like, it's, I think I got, got crushed some, somehow. What if it, you're holding it up backwards? I'm not, no, right no, the, this is definitely the bottom. Yeah. But it's getting everywhere. Oh my God, what's going on? It's raining, Gendra. <laughs> okay, here we go. That, that is a mess. I still, that is a, I'll still eat it. That is an absolute mess. Um, there's the fish. There's the fish. There you go. Focus. I could smell water. Maybe not. Okay. I could smell cantaloupe. It smells so good. Okay, take a bite, take a bite. Here you go. Okay. You can grab it. Mm. Review? Cantaloupe. Review cantaloupe. Oh, it's, it's different colors too. It's like more green. On, it's like yellow on this side, green on this side. They lied. It was supposed to be melon. Wait, is cantaloupe a melon? Mm hmm. Oh, then didn't lie. Yo, that is the best one we've had so far. Like, of all these taiyaki things? Yeah. That's the best. Oh my god. So good! I wanna finish it. I wanna, I wanna save some though for other people, but still. Oh, yo, that's my favorite one so far. Me too. That's my, that's my favorite one. Oh, wow. I guess it's your turn now. <sighs> Give me a second, Phoenix. That's. Tiger contemplates life for a sec. That's delicious. Wow. 
All right, um, I, we've had a lot of these and they've all been really good, but this this one is by far my favorite one so far. Okay, uh, we got a few things here, just tiny things now. Um, let's do let's do this one. Look like fries. I think they're like gummy fries. That that's exactly what they look like. Yeah, gummy fries. It's gummy fries. It just says that. Gummy fries. <laughs> okay, that's that's fine. We, we don't need an explanation for gummy fries. Yeah, it's I cool. can't believe that they even actually they even have an explanation of gummy fries. Okay, so so on the little package here, it looks like McDonald's fries. It says "Come Come Burger." Okay, and you got five fries in here. So one for Phoenix, fake fry. One for me. I think this is supposed. To be oh, my fry broke. I don't know if it's supposed to be gummy fries or gum fries. Oh, it's gum. It is gum. Yeah. It tastes like juicy fruit. Yeah, because it's not going away, right? It says gummies. It says gummy fries, but it's actually gum fries. <laughs> What if they're actually gummy? It literally, it, no. If you had, if you have, if you've had a uh, uh, gummy fruit, not gummy fruit, uh, juicy fruit gum, it's literally what it tastes like, right? Juicy fruit gum, and it's gum. I want to swallow it so bad. Don't swallow it. Spit it out. Spit it out. Next. Okay. What is this? Oh, it looks like cherry gum. E. Okay, this is, I don't know actually, it's, 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 okay, why don't you worry about this, I'll worry about this, uh, Saku Rambo Cherry Mochi, ooh, mochi, these cherry square gummies have a mochi like texture too, with a toothpick included, eat, uh, each, eat each one by one for a tasty sweet, sweet treat. I guess we should say four for Taya. We can, we can save, um, we'll just try one, one each. So yeah. yeah, there's a toothpick in here. So we'll give one to Phoenix. And mm. one for Tiger. It's a gummy. Yeah. It's gum. It's, it's not gum though. I know, it's gum. Yes, it's gum. It's supposed to be a mochi, actually. It doesn't taste like mochi, though. Mm. If anything, it tastes like very stale mochi. Yeah. It's good, though. Yeah. Yeah, all right. All right, we got four more things. Let's just get these uh, done quickly. We got this gummy thing. Oh, uh, and that's a DIY, you think? It's not a DIY. It's literally just gummy candy. There might not be a DIY in here, actually. No, this is the DIY. Gather your gummy ring and loop one ring over the other. Uh, see how long of a chain you can make. Oh, okay, it's literally gummy candy though, but like, I guess you can have fun with it. <laughs> um, you can try that, you can try that. I'll try the other ones, okay? Play with your food. Yes, play with your food. Okay, this one is taco. Choco, oh, Sakura Mochi? This is also Mochi? Each square confection has wrapped the glutinous gummies with Sakura Mochi chocolate and Azuki bean chocolate. The slightly salty taste of the salted cherry blossom leaf powder contained in the Sakura Mochi uh, enhances the flavor for a unique taste we've never been, we've never before experienced. Okay, here we go. Little squares. Take one, Phoenix. What is this? Uh, I just explained it, man. You weren't listening? <laughs> oh, well. Just try it, just try it. I Doesn't... can tell it's good because it's individually wrapped. Yes, exactly. You can tell it's good if it's individually wrapped. Mm. All right, it's a little square chocolate. But like it's that. chewy. It's chewy? Oh, yeah. The inside is chewy. Hmm. 
That's good. Wait, did you try to make a ring? You broke it. <laughs> Alright, do they all come broken like that? No. Okay. I didn't know how to make so a ring. So, they're these little rings. And I guess like you're supposed to loop one over the other. Um... I don't know how it works. Who cares? Who cares? Just, just eat it. Just eat it. It's just a gummy ring. <laughs> no DIY. Hmm. Yeah, forget it. Forget it. That's my turn. It's good though. It, it's like um, a gummy candy. Uh, uh, oh, a grape flavored gummy candy. Um. Is it my turn though? We got some mints. We got some pineapple gummy candy. Uh, some peach candy or mints. Mint. Looks like looks like mints, yeah. And got some gum. Uh, you want to try any of these, Phoenix? I'll take the gum. Take the gum. Okay, you can have the gum then. Mm. I'll try. We'll try this first. You need a cool pineapple chewing gum. Oh, it's chewing gum. Save for later. Oh, this is gum. Yeah. Hey, choose this one then. Oh yeah, okay, it's just two long gums. Mm. Uh, I don't, I, yeah, we don't have to try this either. Cause like gum just takes so much time to chew, you know? You don't want to waste it either. Mm. So let's try this peach one. Okay. Wait, uh, isn't this, this, isn't the pineapple gum the same as cum, cum rum? No, they're different. The, this one tastes like juicy fruit. I'm guessing that one tastes like pineapple. Pineapple juicy fruit. Okay, mini peach. That's uh, I guess. Oh my god. Okay, take some. Are <laughs> you still having the other one? Okay. It's peach mints. That's actually really good. Yeah. That's actually delightful. All right. Well, I guess that's gonna do it, guys. There's still one more. Oh, there's one more. Um, I think they're also mints. Mints. Yeah, it's just another. another well, we have to thing. try it for the video. We have to try it for the video. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Let's try it for the video. Um, Do it for mankind. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Got it open. It's a cool little package. It's a cool little packet right there. Okay, so can't actually. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, I'll, I'll show you guys how this works. Okay, so I give this one to you. Essentially, there's this like little tab at the bottom. Okay, it's a little tab at the bottom, and when you open it, it pulls out a mint, and you close it again, and you shake it around. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, the, then theoretically, it should, it should just give you one mint because there's like a little pocket in there. Um, that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay. It tastes like regular mint, mint, mints though, right? Yeah. It's just regular mints, but that, that packaging is really cool. Okay. So, there you go, guys. April, Japan Crate, unboxed. Uh, what would you rate it out of 10? Based on your experiences with other... Japan crates in the past. Eight. Hmm? Eight. Eight out of ten? I think that's fair. I think that's fair. It's not the best Japan crate we've had. It's not the worst. It's good. It's really good. There were some highlights. The fish thing was really good. The, the teyaki. But um, there are also some uh, failures. So, some low lights, yeah. Uh, I don't think either of us were, were huge fans of the popcorn. That's the first thing we had, the Mike popcorn. Um, what else? I don't know. You know, there, there were a lot of gum, which I'm usually not a huge fan of. Um, aside from that, though, I mean, everything else was good, I would say. Right? Yeah. Right. Okay, well, there you go, guys. This was Phoenix. And uh, this is the April Japan box. Or, sorry, Japan crate. There's a look, look at the inside of the box. Really dope. And then, of course, the uh, front cover is very nice as well. So... Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments down below if you guys want to see more of these in the future. And uh, once again, shout out to Japan Crate. Um, keep doing what you guys do. I'm a big supporter, big fan. And 
yeah, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video, sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell. Phoenix, you got anything else to say before we go? No. Nothing to say. Okay, we're out of here. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger. This is Phoenix with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.